In an expensive BMW, two men drive around Derby looking for young girls, vulnerable children, to impress and then abuse. This CCTV footage shows them approaching girls in the street and trying to lure them into the vehicle. Abid Sadiq and Mohammed Leerkat were the ringleaders of a two-year campaign of rape and exploitation of girls, one as young as 12. Here, Leerkat buys vodka in a petrol station. Moments later, he was plying a girl with the drink before holding her down for another man to abuse. Cruising the streets of Derby, the men would groom the girls that they found. They'd offer them a ride in their car and then give them cigarettes, alcohol and even drugs. Sometimes the girls would be brought to properties like this one. They'd be told that there was a party, but once inside, they'd be raped. Violent abuse that was often filmed on mobile phone. Karen's daughter Jane was just 11 when she was befriended by an Asian man 10 years her senior. A friendship which began with gifts and rides in flash cars quickly turned into something very different. One day she came back, and I'll never forget. She came walking up the road, and she was still drugged up. And she'd been taken to Manchester that night, and then brought back the next morning. Karen says Jane, who've changed both their names, had clearly been raped. Soon there were queues of different men coming to call. I got a video... <clears throat> I got a video sent to my phone. Three Asian men assaulting my daughter. They were calling her white trash. They were calling her a prostitute, saying she was nothing but like a dog. A large number of police were at Nottingham Crown Court today as the men were sentenced. Their horrific crimes have caused much public anger. They're incredibly dangerous men. Uh, not only were they violent, but they used intimidation, violence. They sexually abused and assaulted the girls. And they were a clear threat, as can be seen. The young victims can't be identified, but after the trial, one said, they first approached me during one afternoon and took me to a park. Even in the beginning, I thought they were scary, but I was insecure and lonely. My advice to other girls is don't take anyone at face value. The two men are both married with children. They kept their activities secret from their families. They did, though, involve friends. During three trials, a gang of men were convicted of related offences against girls. Police believe the gang could have targeted up to 60 victims. Victims, the court heard, who were used, abused and terrified. Jonathan Samuels, Sky News, Nottingham.